Hi guys, I'm Dhruv Arora from Technosys and Merit Systems India and today I'm going to give you the basics about RC aircraft flying. We are using the Futaba AJ RC in mode 2. In mode 2 you have your throttle on your left side, in mode 1 the throttle is on the right. So just remember that we are using a mode 2 RC for further demonstration purpose. Let me tell you a little bit about the control surfaces. These are your ailerons. This is your elevator. This is your rudder, this one, and this is your top, which is used for the gaining and the reduction of the speed. So when you go left on your aileron, it will basically roll like this. When you go right, it will look like this. Your elevator is basically used to make the pitch of the plane up and down. Basically, on when you put it up like this, your plane is going to be pointing upwards like this. And when you go down, it is going to point downwards. The rudder is basically used for making the plane turn left and right, like this, for yaw. This is used for yaw. And throttle, of course, as you all know, is for the speed, controlling the speed of the propeller, for gaining the speed or reducing the speed. I always recommend that you give extra protection to your foamy hinges which is this part of your ailerons or your elevators or your rudder. So I always prefer having a fiber tape like this and also have a nylon hinge here. So this gives us more protection to the whole foamy hinge which I think is the right way to go. I will come on a very important topic which most of the RC plane flyers they miss on it. That is the resolution of the servos. The resolution of the servo should always be 100% which means that as far as the servo can travel the control surface also travels the same amount which means that there is going to be a hundred percent connection between the control surface and the servo this can be adjusted by you know adjusting your linkages and all these things so it is something very very important which i believe should be looked into before you even give it its maiden flight let me tell you a little bit about the CG of plane. CG of plane is basically a very important concept. It is the point where your plane is at a neutral balance point. It stands for center of gravity. So in case you have the CG is far forward, the plane will be nose heavy. And what will happen is that it will be difficult to take off. It will be something like this if you are just nose heavy, you know. It is going to be very difficult to take off and land the aircraft. In case the CG of your plane is tail heavy, it will make it difficult to fly in slow speeds, it will be something like this. So you have to be very careful when you are balancing and moving around the electronics, maybe add some weight to it and make sure it is at a very neutral point like this, you know, where it is fully balanced and so that you don't have any problem in the air when you are taking off, when you are closing at slow speeds. I would really recommend to look into the CG of the plane, it's very, very, very important.